Hi there everyone, it's me again, last time for tonight and I wanted to share um, some bits and pieces that I've got from various different places and uh, and um, and that's that'll be me buying stuff for a while. So this is a, this is all from TK Maxx on my desk. Um, I got the die cuts with a view uh, Bright's collection pack and I've already been in this and had a couple of sheets out of it because I made a baby card last week. Uh, this was 4 99 for 58 sheets and it's really nice quality paper. It's nice and smooth um, and you're just getting all the rainbow colours. So that's one stack of paper and then I also got this one from Die Cuts with a View. This was uh, 4 99 again and it's the Colourful Life stack. I just think it's gorgeous. You know, you could use some of this for um, framing, even just putting hanging pictures around the house. It's so nice. Um, so, yeah, it's probably been out for ages, but it's new to me and it just is gorgeous. Um, you know, you could use it for bits of backgrounds or what have you. Um, next one I got is another die cuts with a view. This is the neutrals, 4 99 for 58 sheets. And again, you can see all the colours that you're getting there. You're getting blacks right the way through to greens and whites. So that's really good. Now, the next thing I got, I've never ever seen any Recollections paper pads here in the UK. Um, but this was obviously TK Maxx and it was 5 99 for this stack. And it's single sided and it's just blacks and whites of all various different kinds so it'll be handy for a wedding album or man cards or just you know I just couldn't resist it because it was a huge stack and it has 240 sheets in it so leading me on to this one here this is Paper Mania's 12 by 12 capsule collection and it's spots, stripes and pastels um, I've got this to make a baby mini album um, and I'll be sharing some of the other stuff that I got um, particularly to make a baby mini album for my niece so this is just all you know pretty pastels different dots stripes like it said on the packet and into the stripes now so I'm looking forward to using this and making a, a nice little mini for my niece. Uh, let me just pop this down somewhere and I'll get the rest of my stuff. Um, this is kind of in a pizza box so I'll just need to do a bit of jiggling here or juggling and move that back where the box came from and move the box over here. Okay, I need to move back a little bit. Right, so, first up I got Teresa Collins 2 large 9x9 nine nine bracket shape covers. Now this is to make the mini album, so it kind of goes that way. And you would put your bind in here. And I also got a, a bind it all for my birthday, um, but I don't get that till Tuesday. And that's what my plan is, um, to make the mini with the bind it all. And I've got the O-wire to go with it in nice, a baby pink colour. So that's kind of what that is there. And this all came from um, the craftsboutique.co.uk. It's an online craft store here. Um, I also picked up this broad striped ribbon and some pink pom-pom trim from there and some of these Lilibet paper flowers. Um, what else did I get there? Oh yeah, I got some of these laundry line crochet flowers to go in the mini. And I actually got two packets but I've busted into the other one and used some of it already. Um, where is it? Not sure. Oh, here it is. There we go. So I've used one little flower off that already. And then I got some Ingvild Bold Prima um, 
inks and this one is attic dust and then this one's pastel pink I've already used the pink one uh, this one is old road oops old road and then I got tin can I got old rose and sweet pea I have to excuse my phone it's dying um, and then the last thing I got from that store was some basil card shop cardstock and I just got three different colours Um, I like an olive green and a, a nice um, aqua blue and a pale blue. So that was the cardstock. And then my other order came from an online craft store called craftmojo.co.uk and they are also in the UK and so far it's been the only supplier that I've been able to find that I can get Hero Arts Shadow Inks. So I picked up Soft Pool and I also got Soft Olive. I'm starting to build my collection up with these. Um, and then I also got four of the cubes Oops. and this is called the Garden pack and you're getting mint julep, fresh peach, soft cantaloupe and soft granite in that one. So that was those and then I also got this baby stamp with this cute little patchwork elephant in it um, by Woodware and I've already made a baby card with that last week and I paper pieced pink paper for the elephant and it turned out great. It's over on my blog if you wanted to see it. Um, and then I also got a Dynamics, um, what's this one called? The Party Banner die. Um, so that'll go well for when I make the baby mini album. And then I also got this, which is by Cheery Lynn Designs, and it's Crafters Tools, and it's a set of five single sided picks. Great for picking out your your dies and intricate cuts. So that's my haul from three different places. Um, and I'll get this uploaded onto YouTube as soon as I can. And uh, I just want to say thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you all um, tomorrow um, on my blog for Shabby Sunday. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to to do Shabby Sunday this week because I thought I was going to have to drive down to England and pick my daughter up but instead we are flying her up because it, it's a, it would have been a, um, how long a drive would it have been? It would have been a, a 12 hour round trip so Shabby Sunday's on tomorrow and I'll be making something tomorrow for that. So I'll see you all soon. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.